It was once thought that we should eat regularly throughout the day to maintain blood sugar levels, but there is a growing body of research that suggests intermittent fasting can be a sustainable and effective approach for weight loss, diabetes prevention and overall health. Intermittent fasting is an umbrella term for various meal timing schedules that cycle between voluntary fasting and eating over a given period. We all do this every day, fasting overnight while we sleep. That's where we get the word breakfast, you are breaking your fast. Indeed, nighttime eating is well associated with a higher risk of obesity as well as diabetes. The number of times per day we put our bodies in the fed state and the amount of time our bodies spend in the fasted state can have a profound impact on health. And studies suggest that optimum results can be had by women fasting overnight for 14 hours and men for 16. But let's have a look at why. The well-fed or post-absorbative state occurs after we consume and digest a meal. Sugars, proteins and fats are transported to the blood. This then leads to the secretion of insulin, which stimulates the storage of those fuels and the synthesis of proteins, so we're storing and building. Whereas in the fasting state, blood glucose levels drop, leading to a decrease in insulin secretion and a rise in glucagon secretion. That glucagon mobilizes glycogen, so stored glucose, and inhibits fatty acid synthesis, so the making of new fat. Fatty acids are also released from adipose tissue, so our fat tissues are releasing fatty acids. And both the muscle and the liver use those fatty acids as fuel when blood glucose levels are low, so they're replacing their fuel source. Keto ketogenic or keto diets are high fat diets that incorporate fasting, designed to encourage the body to shift its fuel source from glucose to fat, both from your diet and endogenously, meaning your own fat stores. These popular fasting diets often involve condensing consumption into a window of six to eight hours, but within that, you should be mindful of grazing. Whether fasting or not, frequently ingesting food increases sympathetic nervous activity, and that constant elevation over time can lead to high blood pressure, poor digestion, fatigue, and increased stress. Longer fasting periods are not for everybody and may not be beneficial for you or suit your schedule. You may be better served observing a 12 hour overnight fast and eating three balanced meals, allowing for four to five hours between them, decreasing that calorie density with every meal in line with the saying, breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince, dinner like a pauper. So in terms of practical actions here, what are we doing? will avoid snacking or eating late at night all of the time. Let your body burn fat between meals by removing mid-morning and afternoon snacks. Consider a simple form of intermittent fasting. Limit the hours of the day when you eat and for best effect, make it earlier in the day, say between 7 a.m. and 3 p.m. or even 10 a.m. and 6 p.m., but definitely not in the evening before bed. To get started, calculate your average overnight fast for the next three days, and then try to increase that by an hour, moving dinner earlier. The challenge is to build to a 12 hour overnight fast and ultimately not snack between your three meals. Good luck everybody.